disasters and its effects on the economy. Part 2 Meet BP BP has many businesses in the country, and with these businesses, he can make money. <laughs> in fact, in BP's full year of 2009, he had a net income of totaling $240 billion. But one day, BP was strolling along the beach, distracted with his bags of money. And distracted? Oh no, a big pile of money! I spilt my pop in the water! And that is the true story of the BP oil spill. Due to BP being a butthole, he flooded roughly 25 to 30,000 barrels of oil a day into the Gulf of Mexico. This not only hurt the environment, but those who need the water for their jobs, which in turn affects the economy. The spill affected the waters near Louisiana, which hurt the state's fishing and tourism industry, costing it about $4 billion. Roughly 30% of the waters have been closed to fishing and boating. Meanwhile... Maybe this hay will fix the problem. Just for government expenses, BP had to pay $20 billion for liability reasons, while spending even more on cleaning it up, not to mention the money lost by the wasted oil. Jobs have also been lost, mostly by those depending on the Gulf for fishing, boating, and tourism. One fisherman, George Burrish, lost over $80,000 in his business due to the spill. In short, BP sucked and broke the economy. Ah, looks like BP saved the day again. Right, money? Money? Well, shit.